top, top, top. Top, top. It's your boy, Chad Visionary. It's your boy, E Money Boss, and you're now tuned in to the Top Hill Podcast. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm your boy, E-Money Boss. I'm Chad Visionaire. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. And we're back with another episode of Top Hill Podcast. And this week, you know, we got another very special guest. I've been excited to bring this man on Same for here, bro. a minute now. We've been delayed. I, I apologize for the delay, but I promise you guys. Mother Nature. Yeah, man, Mother Nature. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to tell you. Can't play with it. Can't play with it. <laughs> but, hey, we here. He's in the building. This guy is a very talented rapper. Um, he's actually one of my new favorite rappers out of the city. No That's cap. Good, man. All right? He goes by the name of Sean Spitter. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on there. What's good? What's good? What's going on? What's hey, up, bro? Let me do like this. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Welcome to Top Hill. What do you do, man? Appreciate y'all for having me on. You know what I'm sure. saying? It's your boy, Spitter. And, you know, I'm excited to be here, though, for real. And we're excited to have you, bro. Like, it's been a long time coming. Um, we were introduced to you, man, by uh, our man, a good man, Young Thorn. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Combo. Yeah, yeah, well, we're no combo. Yeah, Got man. You. And um, the first time that I heard your record, me and Chad Visionaire was doing our top ten music battle. Um, this is when the quarantine yeah, stuff started just that. going on. <laughs> and we had a category, which was um, new artists. And... Um, I listened to your music, mm -hmm. uh, Carl Anthony Town. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I heard that, Joan. I was like, "This this guy's unsigned." Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what you talking about unsigned? This this should sound great. Right. Um. So anyway, I played that, Joan. Uh, I don't know what Chad played, but that I had I, a video to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it don't I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> he lost that round. We definitely already picked that. I don't want to know who was he shitting on. That's all I want to know. Chad probably don't remember. You yeah, know. I don't. He don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, um, thank you so much again for coming on. Tell no, us, man, bro. Thank you. Tell us, man, um, who is uh, Shad Spitter? Make sure I'm saying it right, man, because I keep saying Shad Spitter. Shad Spitter. Shad Spitter. You know what I'm saying? For anybody else, you know, if you want to do an alias. Okay. But Shad is the other alias, too. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? So it could be either one for real, for real. But, um... Shaw Spitz is you, you know what I'm saying? Shaw Spitz is your uh, everyday go-getter, you know what I'm saying? Hustler, work hard, trying to find a way to get it and another way to get it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's never off, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it moving. Um, I love music, obviously, right. um, but I love it so much to where I have been taking it serious for probably like five, six years. I got into it from singing. Okay. Um, go Go Bands was in All Just Aside. Oh, uh, dope, okay. Uh, new action. Mm -hmm. Reaction, kind of like homie, because my friend, his father was the manager for him and stuff, so I was oh. always around all the go-go, but like, I don't know, that's kind of like the way I do. You got your when song. I rap, I be telling people, okay. like, when I rap, I like, no homo, rap beats, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Right, like, right. So my flow, no matter if it's melodic or if I'm rapping, you know, I just like to have a steady rhythm that's gonna have you rocking, like, go-go do. Yeah, you and you do. definitely do that in a lot of your you know tracks, man. Yeah, like that. you it's do. Cool. Like, it, it reminds me of a lot of great artists now, like Uzi and, and, yeah. and, and yeah. Doug and stuff like that, but you definitely have your own style, too. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You definitely got your own style, man. You could definitely hear the go-go influence mm -hmm. in it, you know what I mean? Uh, so tell people where you from, obviously. Southside. <laughs> <laughs> see. Southside. We had to take a motherfucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Superman. Yeah. Hey, man, we appreciate it. It's up the street, okay? Right. Well, my mother up that don't say 4 8. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> 12 minutes from a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> to get out this joke. Oh, hey, God. man. So, we, we but why can't I make it out there in 12 minutes, though? I don't understand. Hey, you know, okay. crazy, it's not that I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all. Right. Yeah, in one six. Right. Oh, wow, wow. It's <laughs> not even hey. with the lights on branch. I don't understand. Nah. I mean, it's a little traffic right now and again, oh, but it's she not, got nitrous and everything. It's not no 48 <laughs> minutes away. It's not no 48 hey. minutes so away. The, so the Maryland okay. niggas drive different. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we drive a little different, you know what I mean? We always got to get the fuck 
Like, we you know, so far from everything. No, I tried to get the fuck for like 10 seconds on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and a fed popped up on oh, your yeah. hand side. I'm oh, like, oh man. <laughs> You already know when you cross that line. When you cross that yeah, Chuck County bro. line, bro. Slow down. I got cocky for ten <laughs> seconds, bro. man. Slow down immediately, <laughs> bro. I ain't pick up the speed now. One oh, more time after that. Hey, man. Smart move. Smart move. But well, we glad you made it here safely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I, I hate that we had to uh, postpone the last episode, but hey, man. I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Everybody's here. Safe. You hear me? That's yeah. all that matters. And uh, man, we want to talk to you about. Well, I want to talk to you about this. You announced that you have an album coming yeah. out in September. Yes, sir. And very shortly after that, <laughs> you just dropped the EP. They lucky they didn't get it thirty minutes out. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, he got something in the arsenal. That means you know I just, what I'm saying. I can already tell that you you a hustler, bro. You yeah. you, you be working, bro. But mm-hmm. tell us real quick about this before. The point, man, this EP that you just dropped. Why did you drop it, first mm-hmm. of all? And tell us about it. All right, so honestly, um, the reason I really dropped it is because I felt like 925 was a pretty far time away from now. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a few other singles that's dropping behind the before the point, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I wanted to give y'all a steady project of quality work still before another album. Like, this is another EP. Um, straight to the point, it's going to be like my first album outside of Surprise. I, well, actually, Surprise is technically an EP, but mm-hmm. the quality of Surprise is what I want people to look for. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. On a whole nother level when it comes to Straight to the Point. Surprise was like um, the beginning of rebranding, you know what I'm saying, for Shaw Spitz. You know what I'm saying? So I had to like, kind of like refine who I was, you know what I'm saying? So um, before the point coming right after Surprise, is like now that I done rebranded, now that I done been through all the crazy, unexpected events that kind of like honed me to be where I'm at right now, now it's time to get to what I've been set in stone to get to. And that's the point, to be honest with you. Like, it ain't even nothing super far, but extra deep thought to it. Like, it's for anybody, you know what I'm saying? What's your point? Mm-hmm. And if you figure out what your point is, get the fuck straight to it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like that. So before the point, the reason I didn't even hint about it before and stuff like that is because even what I just said before the point, it's a, it's a ton of time that you got to kind of like think. It's a process, you know what I'm saying? So you got a time where you're thinking about everything you're trying to do. Um, you're figuring out ways to implement action to make those things happen. You know what I'm saying? All verb, no combo. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, you get to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what Before the Point is. Like, I have been recording crazy. Somebody, when quarantine started, yeah. it's like, Shaw, you need to make a quarantine tape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure almost every artist, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, got told from somebody, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, in the corner. But... I took that time to like really give myself a head start. You know what I'm saying? The head start I been should have done because Mm -hmm. recording, like we were just talking to Will, is like the easy part of it, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? What I've really been trying to make sure my straight to the point is strong at is my business, the marketing, the Mm -hmm. branding, being able to get people to understand Shaw Spitz as a person because the artist is kind of like understood already, to be honest. They know what they expect. You know what I'm saying? When they hear if they hear anything, sorry, they're gonna be very disappointed. At you know right. what I'm saying? I'm gonna so, be disappointed. I don't even listening for when you send it to the, me. Like and yeah, that's, and that's what I want though. You know what I'm saying? I want that expectation. You know, we was just talking about it on the competitive nature, like not even competing with everybody else, but competing with myself. You know what I'm saying? If mm-hmm. I can't get better than what I just gave you as my last product, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? But I know it just continues for some reason. Just keep getting better. Keep getting better. Keep getting better. Can I ask you a question? So, were you thinking about your rebranding before the quarantine, or oh, yeah. was it one of those things where you the quarantine allowed the time, or so being, the idea came first? Being real, the quarantine actually got in the way of a few of my plans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To be real, the flood that I'm talking to y'all about right now yeah. was supposed to already happen. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it wasn't even quarantine that kept me away from doing it. It was more so the times, like everything that we was going through, still yeah. going through, yeah. been going through before the quarantine stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing new at all. But um, with everything that's going on, I try to be as weary of it as possible, you know what I'm saying? Because when I drop, I don't want nothing to be taken or misconstrued the wrong way that I'm representing something that's right. not me, you know what I'm saying? And like, during the time of, uh, I'm about to take this, yeah, do what you do. What you uh, do <laughs> Get comfortable. <laughs> I'm about to take this hoodie off in a second, y'all. I ain't got nothing on but the Yeah, I know, hey, man. <laughs> but y'all gonna have to bear with me for a second. We'll turn but, the uh, AC on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, it got in the way of a lot of plans, bro. Like, yeah. I was supposed to have already started the flood that I'm doing right now, which is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Because now I'm able to uh, 
do a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now. Before the point wouldn't have happened. It's coming off, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Damn, that feel even better. Yeah. But, bro, I'm, I'm just going to give you your props right now because um, I was definitely pleasantly surprised of before the point. A lot of times people get so antsy about, like, oh, I want to just drop music, drop music, and yeah. they don't care about the quality. Of course. But this right here is not shy of quality music at all. <laughs> and um, that's no cap, bro. Like, I, I, agree. I Yeah, I listened to this. I was just like, if this is the EP... What the hell does the album sound like? I'm go crazy. <laughs> and it's already, like I said, it's already together. Yeah. Like, it really goes crazy, bro. Like, Scotty on that bad boy. Mm -hmm. Stacks out there on that John. Got a little Zelly on there. Mm -hmm. um, this young female, she's a phenomenal singer. Her name is Sarah Bree. She's going to be okay. on the project, too, as well. Um, this guy named Louis Sobe. I don't know if he's in the lab or not. Got him for a feature, too. I'm actually looking, like, to put a lot more collaborations on the Let's project. Go. Cause it's already like a, a strong, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. presence of me all mm -hmm. over the joint. You know what I'm saying. Right. So, I'm trying to make sure I get some other sounds on there with it. But the album already like, I'm in love with it. You what's your what plans? The, what's, what are you gonna do business wise so, with this album? What are you trying to do? And that's and that's what's really going on right now. Um, getting the budget as strong as possible for bigger platforms to present my music as far as to drop like say cheese. I don't. I just I ain't gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I don't like the fact that we got to go through all of that, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, which don't get showed for our side of the situation, it don't go as great as far as the business side of things, especially artists who know how to handle business with people and stuff like that. But I know that platforms like that can put my music in front of people, even the ones who may not like it, more so the people who do like it, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? People that I haven't met or even, they can't really reach me from where I'm at, you right. know what I'm saying? So I got like Say Cheese I'm going to go to. People that I always mess with is uh, Loaded Magazine. They like a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a podcast. They got a podcast. They got okay. a playlist. They got a it. website. Everything on the jump too as well. But they kind of like focus on my sound, which, like I said, during the rebranding, I found. You get what I'm saying? Right. I understood what I was taking on as far as an artist, which is get you moving. Yeah. Even if I'm doing like some, I wouldn't say J Cole ish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like mm -hmm. storytelling incomplete. You still gonna be moving, I promise yeah, you. You know what I'm right. saying? Through the whole time, you're gonna be moving and listening to it. So like it's just um just making sure that I get onto other platforms, more features. I hate corona right now because I really want to perform. That's my yeah. biggest thing. Something That's right my now. biggest thing. Let's it would be I, everybody, I promise you it would be over if I was able to stop performing right so now. So can I bro? ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What are you willing to do? Because mm -hmm. let me tell you something. It's this guy. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something. It's this guy. I live down all the way in St. Mary's County, y'all. This dude, he just recently made it on, uh, he was on CNN, he was on World Star. Now, I'm from St. Mary's County. You okay. know, that's not on the map. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm trying to tell you. This dude, y'all, pulls up to neighborhoods mm -hmm. and puts on shows, random neighborhoods. Yeah. And when I tell you, he's making a complete fool of himself, though. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, he does this thing in the beginning where he's doing Michael Jackson, he's doing Elvis, he's doing everything just to get people's attention because yeah. you're hearing familiar sound. Yeah. And then at the very end, he starts performing his own music and he's handing out cards. And this started quarantine. This man had made the CNN. This man had made the world star. Like, he's literally, yeah. like, doing it. But he's willing to do yeah. whatever. Like. Right. You willing to go them levels? I'm just by to make far anybody willing. see your music for free. And he had a bucket out at the end. People was paying. I know I put forty dollars in there. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, and he was only out there. I stamped forty five minutes. And that's you know what I'm saying. That's in the process yeah. of what I'm doing right now. So we trying to get our own camera, our own speaker set, our own micro set. Like in home studio, that's fine. We talking about for moves. You know what I'm saying? And be able to, if we wanted to pull up because we actually I got a homie named E Murder. He managed these two artists and stuff named Young Roster, and then uh, dropping. Fifty hundred, drop top, Kato. That's it. My bad, bro. Don't get mad at me for that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we putting together a block party. You okay. know what I'm saying? With artists that we got fuck with and stuff like that. Oh. But we're gonna put go go bands as the headline and stuff like that too to be able to bring a bigger crowd out and have the main artists be the main performers and stuff. And then you okay. get breaking all. I'm looking forward to that. That's definitely, gonna be nice. definitely. No bullshit. But like, I want to do that more often. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. I I kind of like got my whole 
marketing and branding plan. Everything that I'm talking to y'all about is a part of my marketing and branding oh, plan right. too, as well. Like even with great the, job by the yeah, way. You like, know what I'm saying? Like the brand, making your own parties and uh, stuff. That's all a part of this. The okay. EP is only it should. I'm getting told I should be taking it more serious, but it's only getting it taken as serious for the promotion of straight to the point. You get what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. And think about that. So like you just said, the quality level is what I'm talking about, and I'm looking at that EP like. That's not even, yeah. you know right, what I'm saying? Right, but right. I want y'all to really be right, right. Reeled, reeled in off of the straight to the point is what's going to really get them. And I'm telling y'all, I promise y'all that shit going to go crazy. But that's It's really so good I'm, that people think, I don't know if they just don't necessarily believe in you or whatever, yeah. but they're like, this is so hard. Like, can you hit harder than this? And what I, I tell people all the time mm -hmm. when I be coaching them is mm -hmm. don't let nobody else run your business. If you exactly. already know what time it is, just keep doing what you're doing because it's definitely impressive with just the EP alone. Yeah, and you. only you know that. You yeah. Know yeah. I mean? Only you can find Don't let nobody yourself. else yeah. run your business. And only certain level of artists actually can tap into that. The fact yeah. that you actually can tap into that this early, because mm -hmm. so many of these artists, they're trying to find themselves while they already might have had like a a smash or a hit record or something like that by accident. Mm -hmm. Now they're trying to find themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're doing this before you take off. I already see the projectory for you, bro. Like, I already see where it's going. I definitely would say it started when I dropped. I can't even remember when I dropped Bloodus and um, Stranger Things. Do you remember what year was that, bro? Bottom of 2018, top of 2019. I don't think 2019, though. I think that was too quick. I think that's closer with Filter. Filter came out far after that. But, take that back, fall of 2018. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. But uh, around that time is where I would say like I really found my sound. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really when I started to hone what I wanted to represent. And it was, it was just really like freedom. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that's one thing as an artist, like anybody, not even just an artist. If you're doing like your own business, podcast, yeah. or that, you got to yep. find what it is that you represent. Yeah. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? And you push Definitely. that. You push that like it ain't no tomorrow. Like I'm literally an energetic nigga you know what i'm saying like i had my bad days you know what i'm saying I had battle with anybody who out there being real had battle with bipolar depression you know all that shit is real you know what i'm saying your mental health everything is extremely important Absolutely. you know what i'm saying and it's also key to finding out who you are yeah. as a person you know what i'm saying so like getting past all that i really understood who i was you know what i'm saying i'm i have to be doing this i have to be moving i have to be active i have to get to it i have to or I'm going to be low. Right. That's mm -hmm. just, it's no you feel, beating you around the bush. You know what I'm exactly. saying? That's, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So either you get to it or you're going to be a depressed person living right. for the rest of your life. Because you're not really living unless you're living in your purpose exactly. anyway. Exactly. So it just feel better and it's natural. Mm -hmm. You know what you want to do. I mean, even through the low times, you could be laughing. I'm telling you like, damn. Shit is fucked up right now. <laughs> but I know for a fact that around the corner, yeah. it's coming. You know what I'm saying? The next good time, the next better day is coming. It's right around the corner. That's how I feel about this shit. It's an everyday process. Every day. That's definitely a good way to look at it and be optimistic about it. Who are some of your uh, influence? Influence? Yeah. I know you mentioned Gogo, -Go, but I want to hear like yeah, artists. Nah, top, yeah. top inspirations, man. Top, top inspirations? Yes, sir. My number one is kind of like going to feed the whole inspiration is uh, Wayne. You know okay. What I'm okay. Like, Perfect. Wayne, as far as to me, like is a person who will never be restricted as to what he's gonna say out of his mouth. Also, not apologize about whatever the fuck come out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's artistry, bro. Like, the day you start feeling like you can't say some shit out of your mouth with your music and it's stuff, done. it's a problem. It's and done. I actually had, like, this situation happen with a close, you know what I'm saying, partner in the music and shit like that. And he kind of, like, re realigned my thought. You know what I'm saying? It was, like, almost a quick loss at that moment. I'm like, nah. That shit, I shouldn't, or that shouldn't be getting said on this song and stuff. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's music. You know what I'm saying? And it's and your music. Exactly. So what are you not, why are you not allowing that to be said or anything? It's really just that. You know what I'm saying? So like, okay. Wayne is number one. Um, Nas, uh, good one. Hove, mm. only good because one. of the business. <laughs> okay. I just want everybody to know that. I hey. fuck with Hove though, literally. Don't get it twisted. Oh, I was going to say, come on, man. <laughs> but... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel the same as that way. That's all I, like, I can respect certain things. Music, certain things not, get a little yeah. bit over 
Oh, exactly. Well, we got to have a different conversation. Like retire when you pay like retire. But, but mentally, I'm just, oh, when yeah. we talk mentally, business destruction, the mother yeah. is not fucking with him. Like, And I need yeah. people to really understand that that is a person you should study instead of like envying Absolutely. when it comes to stuff like that. He's Absolutely. already done what everybody's yeah. trying to do. You get what Whether I'm saying? you like how Whether it's you done like or it, not, exactly. it's done. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff for you to really understand for him. Yeah. But the music side is for anybody else. And this is the part that kind of like feeds the crazy is uh, Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I said, it really feeds that side. Them, him, Outkast, Big Boy, and them. And then, of course, I can't say it without saying his name is a uh, uh, Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, really? I can't, I can't. Right. My father bumped Biggie so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It was 2006. You know what I'm saying? Blasting that bad boy all the time, bro. Like, that was actually a person who kind of like got me on music. You That's know what I'm saying? About to say, when, when did you find out that you wanted to do music? Yeah. Like six. Singing Usher and shit to my mother and stuff in the okay. living, living room. No bullshit, I'm dead serious. Usher used to be my man too. Matter of fact, it's another person. <laughs> <laughs> it's an influence. Usher, uh, Justin Timberlake too as well. You know, you what was saying? the kid that uh, Mama would go get. Come on, come on, mm-hmm. here, show, uh-huh. show, 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 show that movie you was doing. <laughs> really though, I was really that up. kid though. Getting it, I'm telling you, every time, you know what I'm saying? But like, like I said, it was always that natural type of spirit in me, especially when it came to music, bro. Like, it helped me. Help me just feel like live at all times. Um, speaking about a final influence, I probably would really want to let everybody know, like, and this is what I'm talking about, my range of music, like, and it's definitely a Fallout Fall Out Boy. Uh, oh, okay. And okay. Pop, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Okay. Like, I, that's another person that my, my people put me on to. Like, I probably would have never listened to them, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, if my father wasn't playing them in the car and stuff like that. But he always had a wide range of music that he listened to. You know what I'm saying? So I always had an ear for a lot of other sounds. That's stuff. super dope. Man. So like, you don't hear so, so much different things coming from Shaw Spitz, but you are gonna know it's Shaw Spitz. You yeah. know what I'm saying? At all too. times. Yeah, man. That that's that's super dope, bro. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Like when when you said these are your top inspirations, bro, mm-hmm. I would have never guessed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's, there's there's so many times there's so many people out here doing things and they're not studying the people that need to study. You're yeah. definitely on the right path, bro. Thank so, you. Thank you. Um, that's super dope. Yeah, man. I think it's time to bring you in the Top Hill world. You guys have any other questions for him? Mm. Hey, man. Welcome to the Top Hill world. <laughs> some of these topics, you know what I mean, that's going on, some of this new music. Um, so we got a lot of new music dropping, and we might as well just go ahead and, and get to the shits, man. You know the first, the first song we talking about yet, Jamila? What song we talking about? There's so many songs that like, came out, man. man. Oh, oh that right. right. <laughs> 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 They make everybody so <laughs> mad. They really do. Right. Mad. They, they fucked the whole internet up. Like niggas didn't know how to act. I'm like, not expected for I the internet to be fucked up. Though. Right. Though. Like all you see is two perfect sets of tits. <laughs> on the <laughs> have right. a, you know right. what I'm saying? And it's right. boom. Like how do you right. not expect what's about to happen? Like, yeah, like, for real. like they came out here. Like if people say it's the most vulgar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how are you offended? Right? Like, it's like y'all have never heard of Fox or surprised. Right. The females that was mad. Like oh. first of all, I'm very conservative, so all that freak shit. You know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. that's like one of the that's the bedroom thing. But the music, yeah. though, it's the music. Yeah. It's just music. Yeah. It's not exactly. that deep. Like right. I feel like if you a female and you just got mad to it, it was just because you couldn't relate. Basically, right. not a lot of. Them Right. Yeah. I hope that's not the case though. There was a lot of females. There like, should be no strong fifteen to twenty percent of the population talking about they mad at why. You need to do a um. You need to do something real trendy. You need to do like a remix of weak ass pussy. That's what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> still call it, it's still calling wop. That's gonna go crazy right oh, now. Oh my mama, she just gave me the motherfucking gym. <laughs> I do business. I'm trying to tell you. Oh my mama, we got trendy. Hey, we gotta put that down. Mom, I'm trying to tell you. Weak ass pussy. That's the song. Oh, man. <laughs> Nah, no, for real, the remix is coming. Mm-hmm. Trust me. You heard me here first. Y'all just mad because y'all got so weak There should be no and reason why. <laughs> like, what? And we putting her on the song. She no. got started. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there should be no reason why politicians are out here talking about the fucking white Yeah, I seen like, that on Twitter. What? That was yeah, wild. This Republican woman was like, this is just so disgraceful and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah. I seen it. It was like, two bro. of them, actually. Yeah, I'm like, it yo, what are y'all doing? It was like oh, three. Several. It's like three extremely huge explosions that just happened like, across y'all the y'all world. Right. And you talking to us about what? Exactly, bro. Right. Like, but Cardi B. Your lack of. What the fuck? Cardi B with the fuck off, though. Like, she was in the comments. She was just like, she just mad because she got that dot. 
Oh, yeah. 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 But um, yeah, man, and uh, that that video is obviously that shit's soft porn. I don't care what anybody looks. Yeah. <laughs> that, that shit, I'm surprised. It's amazing. Do. I have no they idea how they knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, though, absolutely. Like, for anybody to think that this was just like. No, just throwing out the... No, no we didn't expect right. what was about that. Come on, man. First of all, like, look at who they are. Secondly, exactly. people was rapping about sex all day long. Man, like, I've seen a slave J. video. Y'all seen Pussy that video of that one. woman? Uh, oh, she was yeah. a slave. She was one of the slave people. And they was, they, somehow they found the audio of a slave oh, person singing a song back in the day. And I'm going to tell oh, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I didn't hear, though. That freak shit, bro. Yeah, bro. All freak. I can ride you all day. Like, kill. Like, this is no... Nothing new, yeah, nothing bro. Like, like that. Nothing oh. new something, bro. That shit. I ain't gonna hold you like, and I ain't. I'm not no simp. I want y'all to be known as, but yeah. I'm. I love my mother to death, and she's a person who, you know, what I'm saying we've been battles through back and forth. Yeah. But women go through it, bro. Like I ain't yeah. gonna oh, hold you. Men sure. go through it like shit too, which is the problem. Cause I wish we could all understand that we all going through it together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So let's fight this shit together. Right. But oh my mother, like. Let motherfuckers live. Bro. Exactly. The That's thing, it. That's what it yeah. all comes down to at the end of the day, bro. Is what are you doing with yourself that we don't know about that we possibly could be talking about right now? Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. But you want to judge this person right now. Right. I wish it was that simple. It's just as simple as minding your business. Like, if you don't that like too. it, just you like, like, it's cool. You, you I press play. That was the you press play. Opinion. You press play. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, what, and you can what, press skip. What hurt your you know? spirit like, so bad? Really not that high. And then uh, the other thing, how y'all feel about Kylie, J- <laughs> Kylie Jenner and that joke? She Business. Had, uh, I don't have a problem with it. Why? <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if I'm with Kardashian, but if I could afford to have Kylie appear, she's There's coming. There's 50,000 like, signatures it. out right now to get Kylie Jenner removed. Why? The video's already out. But you just used all that energy. All right. Like, you use all that energy to sign a petition. You sign a petition to get in front of a music video that you don't have to watch. The money is already spent on the music video. Did you really think that they most likely They most likely have clicked that view button probably over 10 times, bro. Because they're so upset. Like, I swear to God, they most likely have clicked it at least 10 times. Easy E said it the best, man. Like, during that moment when everybody was mad at NWA for their music and stuff like that, he's like, man, they still bought them up. <laughs> you know right, I mean? facts. Same thing. All right, we moving on. We moving on. Uh, <laughs> Wop go crazy. Wop do go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit should have been. I, I'm surprised they dropping this music though. Like bef- while we're in quarantine, bro. Like there's no concert. That's what I'm saying. There's nobody. Like, there's like, no club. There's certain things I wouldn't go. You know, we right. dropping this time. But I'm I mean, telling like, you, they probably got tired of waiting. They probably already had that in the bag. We needed that. Like we needed Cardi. It's summertime. Someone's about to be over exactly. with. We needed something. I just Cardi. told y'all I, I stopped my whole damn plan and now I got come later in the year so they probably was like fuck that yeah. you know what I'm saying like this is like, dropping now yeah. and now we can go outside now who's gonna wait a whole year to drop that right yeah. no, I got you like you said niggas going outside they don't care niggas going outside right they gonna bump right. this like, yeah. yeah uh Future and Uzi Pluto and Baby Pluto drop over your head y'all, y'all fuck with that it's dude? a whole project it's a song, song. song. I like it it's it just smooth bro like it, it kind of like got I don't know, like, throw behind the closet or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I like that when, when, when it when it first dropped. Really? You know how I feel about Future? He's like toxic to the culture. Yeah. <laughs> that's him though. That's and that's my friend. <laughs> that's that's his brand. Right. I just don't click. I, I just don't click. She don't, click. She don't fuck with the brand of Future, but right. Right. that is Future's brand. Like, right. that yeah. is yeah. what makes Future money. Like, all him fact. being right. as toxic Big as he is is what makes money for him, bro. It's so crazy. You got a whole cult. You hear me? Fuck yeah. Go on that shit, man. If it's tell your shoes. Yeah, like, he, is, he is a savage, bro. Like, hey, good. He just tweeted, like, uh, what you would call uh, Scotty Pippen's wife or something? Man. Like that. Oh, yeah. Like, I've seen that shit. <laughs> like, he's such a cool boy. troll, bro. Like, yeah, we talk no about. Never nah, mind. I don't even want to say the name, <laughs> but y'all know what's there, isn't it? The, man, Future's trolling is, like, so chill, bro. Yeah. Like, I swear to God, right. bro. It's only chill because it sounds like he always awesome leaves yeah. or something. But other than that, I cannot <laughs> get with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> Juice World and The Weeknd. Smile. Yes. This record, cool. I wanted this record to be so much bigger than what it was. Mm. Um, because it's Juice World and The Weeknd, obviously. Every single time I hear Juice World now, 
it's kind of chilling because he's always talking about, you know, um, dying and like mm-hmm. and foreseeing and stuff like that. And the fact that it actually transpired the way that he he raps about it and stuff like that makes me feel uncomfortable. I ain't gonna hold you. It's just so much music, and he was just such a talented, talented guy, man. Definitely. Um, so it's it's hard to hear records like this, but um, it was cool. Um, I felt like the record could have been done better. I feel like obviously if he was he was still here, him of the weekend would have. The chemistry would have been so much better, but you, but yeah, Juice World, The Weeknd, Smile. I thought it was it was cool or whatever, but um, yeah, it's it's not beating that walk right now. <laughs> I get uncomfortable with all that stuff. Though. Yeah, like, bro. It just, just feels weird. Where's the money going? Like, is it going to the family? Mm-hmm. Like, you know where it's going. It's, uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what that's, always makes me feel uncomfortable about all that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't even feel like the Weeknd really wanted to do that shit. I, it that's sound it, like you it, know what I'm saying. How yeah. it sound like. His verse was just like it wasn't like that thought, that well thought of. It's just like I'm doing this because label shit. That's trifling. I mean, not for it's him. It's business, I'm just though. That's what keeps the world going. Yeah. If they but, stop that, they already had a plan before this man even killed himself. So the, it must continue. Like yeah. it's got to keep going. It's crazy. Especially after you put money into something. Nah, that's the truth. It's just uncomfortable. Yeah. It's fuck. Let's get into the news, y'all. Let's get into this top news. Oh no shit. We got uh, a lot that happened this week. Man. You guys ready? For this blazing hot news that came that came out of Twitter this week, y'all, y'all hear? About? Did y'all know that Rita Ora is not black? Oh my oh, God, that's not, <laughs> like, that's news. Like, nah, I don't care. Like, nah, that's news. Like, nah, I just I just happened to go on Twitter today. And it was true. It was trending that Rita Ora. Who is Orr. Rita Ora though? What does she do? Uh, Rita Ora. She uh, she uh, she uh, um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even. Tell, you know what she is? did music before. Uh, she was in the Fast and Furious. Yeah. She weighed the flag. Um, you say what? That was about Remember it. Remember the drink journey is over? All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Uh, but but yeah. Rock Nation investment. R- real, the real news, the NBA is back. Weird oh, yeah. is shit. The it fans is weird. It is weird. Oh, yeah, There's no, no that's, fans. That part is fucking no, The yeah. energy on the court is just completely different. Nah. Like, it's real it summer way. league-ish. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It, it feels summer league-ish to me, bro. Because basketball? Yeah, bro. Nah. Like, when I first, bro, when I fall the, the actual up, basketball itself, like, the teams is playing against each other. Yeah, because bro, it's it like, felt like a pickup game. I know what you mean, because, yeah. like, they don't have the energy, you know, vibrations and stuff like that is real. The energy in the crowd, nobody's yeah, playing bro. the crowd this way or that way, discouraging you. So they really just playing like ain't nobody out like the there, free throw looking at video game. Like, <laughs> I have yeah. seen probably at least three to four of the most epic games I have seen all year before the quarantine included, bro. Got them okay. finishing with Devin Booker, uh, uh, um, the games oh, the other yeah, night yeah, with uh, yeah, yeah. Jokic. And motherfuckers, who balling. the fuck is they playing? I can't Jokic remember. Jokic was balling, bro. Bro. Was it Was it the Portland Trail Blazers? Or was it the Celtics? It might have been the Celtics they was playing the other night, bro. But, like, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like when they started, it was very, like what y'all was talking yeah, about, yeah. Like it was really dead. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're picking up as far as the intensity with the games and stuff Maybe, that, maybe that's what it is for me. But it probably was going on in the locker room. Like, y'all need to play like it's people in these stands. Yeah, like, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like y'all just said, it's the business. Like, we right. still paying y'all to do this. And right, right now... It's whoever get the championship that is still involved. You right. know what I'm saying? It's right. like right. when you go to work and you know you don't have that many customers exactly. there that day. You chilling a little bit, but then and your, still, boss your boss still calling like, your phone. Why ain't no sales? Ain't nobody yeah. here, nigga. Like, I see fuck? you sitting oh. down right now, bro. I don't care. Ain't nobody <laughs> here. Stand up. You know what I think will make it more exciting? I just thought about this the other day. I think they should play like music, like in the background, like. So, because like when you in the gym, like nah, yeah, like, it's, it's really gonna feel like two k. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't do but that. But I, I think it would like a build them more. Yeah, when they hear their favorite songs right. and shit, I think that'd be dope. Now nah, you right though. I've seen people ball. Yeah, it should be wild, bro. That shit is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's it's and another thing. Do anybody know how it looks on their side? Is what I've been trying to figure. out. It's kind of bro. It kind of looks like when they be sitting like in the stands and stuff like that. Like in the bleachers, it'd be like, bro, they all spaced out. Some people not like this shit weird. No, I'm talking about like so. You know how the virtual people they got them on. Oh the screen, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. How does it look for them? Like, is it a They're normal watching this. TV type of thing? Because then it's like, what the I fuck is know. this shit for? Are they charging people for that? Too? That's what I heard. That they're, they're oh, that's charging for virtual TV. I would not pay for that. So if you're not like showing me like action screen, you get what I'm saying? Back and forth the whole okay. time yeah, while yeah. I'm watching. It's like a normal fucking virtual right. TV. What am I paying for? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't know, know about that, right? The, the I don't know how they see it. I don't know how they actually see it. They could probably really paint to just have their face. Right. 
Yeah, and it why. does not get shown on TV, fool. Oh, it don't really. You barely get to see that at all. That is crazy. NBA makes a killing. A killing, bro. This shit crazy, bro. I'm, I'm glad yeah. we talking about this yeah. shit with you on here, bro. Because I can tell with your music too, you have a lot of basketball references in your music, bro. Oh mm-hmm. man. Obviously, with the Carl Anthony Town record, I heard mm-hmm. you mention a lot of other records as well too. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I was going to ask you who's your team, but you know, I kind of. No change, right? yeah. It's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> shit crazy. I need everybody to know I grew up over Kobe. Hey, now off this LeBron and stuff. Oh, I need y'all to know that. I'm about Marble to add for you, life, bro. And it will never be nothing else but Marble for life, okay? But it works yeah, at wrong on your team. Yeah, it definitely works. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what, what why am I mad? Why would I complain about that? You right. know what I'm saying? But... I am a home team fan though, so like whatever happens to whatever my home teams, I'm still hurt from all that. Like yeah, the Wizards, yeah. the Nationals, and now <laughs> the, the Washington, Washington yeah. football. <laughs> God, man, that shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt my soul when I heard I, I heard that about is, that shit, bro. It's gotta be temporary, though. That's it, it's supposed it's to be extremely it. temporary, bro. Yeah, but these niggas so got the uniforms yeah. coming out printed, Looking bro. Like, like UIC. Bro, you like, what the heck? Bro, it's when, history, yo. We are living in history right now. Shit we is are. weird. 20, buy you one, is the buy year, you one, I'm you. and put it, in, put it away. I got something to tell you. I'm going to keep it in the creases for a couple That's all I can do. Forever. I really wanted to boycott it. I really wanted to boycott it. I really wanted to boycott it, but like now that you think about this it, this is history. It's like, yeah. it's like, I can't wait to get boycotted. There's no point in boycotting this, though. I'm going to tell you right now. Like, this was foreseen to happen. For like the last three years, that's why that dude bought all them goddamn names and made smartest shit. Smartest shit I ever seen. Genius! I just found out that Mark uh, Cuban. Mark Cuban. That's how he got. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He, he was buying the domain for websites and shit like that. That's how he got rich, bro. I that's just crazy. found that. I know that dude really, can do that though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. real estate yeah. online. I swear. Yeah. But I'm like, that's really how this man got to the point we could buy a damn NBA team. Bro. He There's bought so McDonald's. Much. When was it? McDonald's, yeah. Toyota, Honda. He bought all of their websites don't yeah. mean to make them have to buy that shit. For There's me. so much game out here that we don't have, yeah, bro. I'm but like, bro, because we, we so busy trying to finesse each other. You, mm, you, hey. you see how hey. they think about finesse? Now we're potting. <laughs> <laughs> now we're so busy trying to yeah. take and sabotage the next nigga. She on. just like hit that shit right yeah, there. Grab the big ass hammer. Boom! Yeah. 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 Like, that's yeah. really what's going on right yeah. now, man. People don't realize you make so much more money by just genuinely showing love, putting people. And on. you know, like yo yo, you know what I'm saying? Like we bump heads, so you know what I'm saying? We two grown black men, you know what I'm saying? That <laughs> strongly passionate about what it is that we doing, you know what I'm saying? So that's the only time we. It ain't like no bad bump head. It's a good bump head, you know right. what I'm saying? If you got somebody that's gonna say yes to you about everything that you're oh doing, my God, that's not, that's not good. Yeah. That's, that's why we still, man. That's why we still stainless. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what come with Scotty. That's what come with Stacks. You know what I'm saying? They always. No, I talk to them like they're their own men at all times. It ain't never little boy this, little boy that. Nah, because I know that at the end of the day, every person around me is a king in their own self. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They're their own man, and they can do whatever it is they think about doing as long as they implement the actions and steps that come involved with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like, that's why it's like that, bro. Like, everybody just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. It should be like that. Like, I don't understand. Just talking to Will right before I came back in here, yeah. bro, about this same thing, bro. Yeah. It should be like that, but it's not. it's not. It's really not. It's not even close to right. being like that. Bro. Yeah. But it's up to people like you, man, yeah. uh, people around us that... I that, told them, when they, they see this stuff start to pop, and they see just how genuine it was of a, a, a conglomerate of people yep. that decided to just hone their own skills in their own lanes and help each other. That's it. And Instead each of way just they trying to slide in somebody else's lane. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They all got their own lanes and they helping each other driving it. That's it. That's it. But you need this, you need to nudge this way. I got you. All right, nudge me back. Boom. That's cool. That's 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 my prayer alone. That's probably my prayer alone. But uh, hey, it's, it's actually that time too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yo, spit up. Yeah, man. Thank you so much, bro. This shit was lit. You hey, bro. Definitely appreciate you. Definitely. Man. Once again, I not enough time, y'all. bro. Like, we, we're going to need to get you back up on here, shit, man. Shit, we coming back this weekend for a studio session. Let's so. do it. Oh, that's, yes. lit. that's lit. That's lit. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm going to I'm gonna have to be in here for that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you need to. This shit gonna go that's crazy. cool. Let's make us a top of your song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with bro, it. Boys, too. <laughs> I'm with it, man. Hey, man. Thank you so much for uh, hey, gracing our studio, man. Being a part of the podcast, man. Uh, shout top, out Top Top Yes sir, yes, sir. Shout yeah. out to Spitter man Hey go ahead Give them your plugs man Let them know where they can find you Where they can hear you IG uh, Twitter uh, Facebook All Shah Spitz S-H-A-D-S-P-I-T-S Underscore That is for all platforms And then you can follow me on Like literally every platform of music With Shah Spitz Together S-H-A-D-S-P-I-T-S Make sure y'all go ahead Tune in stream Tell your mans Tell your mom Your dad 
your granddad, your little niece, your little nephew, your man from down the street, and all that. You hear me? And all of them. Just make sure they hip, because it is more coming. All right? Spit it in. Top Hill. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, family. Yes, Before the point is out right now, oh, yeah. you gotta listen to that. I told y'all, you see how I just sped past that joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about that, baby. Probably <laughs> <laughs> good work. That's exactly. how it's just a part of the marketing plan. Part of right there, man. And straight to the point coming September 25th. Oh, I do want to say this too. Okay. September 25th is. My uncle, my only uncle who passed away his birthday, and he was the first person who showed, one of the first people who showed me how to be straight to the point with everything, you know what I'm saying? So, trust and believe, it's a lot of messages behind a lot of the stuff that I do, you know what I'm saying? So, just wanted to get that all. Shout out to you, up. We're still doing it. Respect, man. Hey, can't wait to hear it, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, man, that's going to do it for Top Hill. I'm your boy, Money Boss. I'm Travis and Aaron. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. That was